What's up, everybody? It's your boy Ryan, and I'm here to answer a question for you. Will the caffeine solbutamine stack give me tolerance? Will I build a tolerance to it? We're going to talk about it. It's actually a pretty interesting combination. I've taken it several times. I think you just got to dose it correctly. Uh, so I'll give my opinion on it here in a bit. If you are new to this channel, subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for being with me. Check us out on the web, livecortex.com, livecortex.com slash blog. Big blog for nootropics information. Basically, everything you can you can you want to figure out or learn about nootropics is there to include a lot of my anecdotal experience with a lot of really cool stacks and 90 audio podcasts. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash cortex stacks. Four products support this broadcast. I'm gonna run through them really quickly. Here they are. Elite level nootropic All right, number products. One, we've got a nootropic stack. It is called Cortex. Exceptionally strong stack. Sells in 20 countries right now. I've been around for three years. Folks love it. I mean, folks really love the Cortex stack for focus, motivation, verbal fluency, productive drive. It just is noticeable. If you want to try the stack or if you already you know, buy the stack, thanks so much for your business. You guys really keep this company awesome and alive. Uh, use the coupon code 7 right now. This weekend, you can get it for 25 bucks a bottle. That's pretty awesome. You know, buy two bottles, 50 bucks, boom. You got two bottles of Cortex, you're stocked up, you're golden. Again, coupon code seven at livecortex.com. Takes the price to 25 bucks. If you need my help on anything related to nootropics, get the consulting service. That thing's hot right now. We're doing them all day, basically. It's a 40 minute call with me. We, we help people figure out stacks that work well for them. If you're new to nootropics, you have to start here. Buy smarter, better, faster. Read that book. So many questions you have about nootropics to be answered just by reading that book, okay? It's digital and downloadable. So you can like read it on your iPhone, iPad, Mac, PC, whatever you want right away, even a Kindle the moment you download it. Um, okay, so solbutamine is a pretty interesting compound. It's basically just like a super bioavailable version of B1, vitamin B1. The thing about it is it crosses into the blood-brain barrier. It just gives you immediately available vitamin B1. And the effects of it are, I would say subtle, but they're certainly interesting. Number one, I think the primary thing that a lot of folks get me included is a mood benefit from taking Solbutamine. You kind of just feel a little better. Well-being is a little enhanced and kind of cranked up. Um, and it's, uh, you know, it's kind of like mm, a little bit like maybe a theanine St. John's work combination. Um, makes you feel kind of really good. Caffeine, we all know what caffeine is. Caffeine stimulant compound that works on adenosine signaling in the brain and kind of tones down tiredness and cranks up there for wakefulness. You sort of stop the signals of tiredness happening in the brain. That's really the mechanism of caffeine. Um, I have come to understand there's a lot of different combinations of stuff that works really, really well in simple quantities. We just did a video about that recently. And 100 or so of 100 or so milligrams of solbutamine with like 120, kind of just like a big cup of coffee, uh, milligrams of caffeine is actually a really good stack. Something like that is a, is a template you can work from and then titrate up or down to see what really works well for you. It's a stack that I take. I've got many different stacks in the arsenal. It's just like one simple stack that I take it's not a super functional stack, but it is a good baseline stack. But somebody wrote an email in saying, hey, I take this stack, you know, their doses were pretty similar to that. It really rocks for me where other nootropics haven't really done the trick. Uh, is this sustainable, number one? And then, it, you know, am I gonna build a tolerance to it? The answer to the question of sustainability on that stack is, it's probably a stack like you know, like along the, along the lines of like four grams per acetam, 100 milligrams theocrine, um, 100 milligrams or correction, 400 milligrams Alcar. Pretty sustainable stack, right? Something you could take for a pretty long time and not really have to be too concerned about cycling at least for like a month or something. Then thereafter, it absolutely needs to be cycled. Same is true with this. I mean, yes, it is a B vitamin. But again, it's a it's it's crosses into the blood brain barrier. It's cranking up B1. It does affect other neurotransmitters. It's cholinergic solbutamine in a way, and I believe there's some sort of dopamine sensitizing effect or some dopamine enhancing effect with solbutamine too. So again, it's just like every nootropic you want to cycle. Uh, sustainable, yes. But what I would suggest is probably a four days on, three days off cycle, and then having a bunch of other stacks kind of on the roster that you can take in between to toggle between. And again, Smarter, Better, Faster, the Racetam God Guide, the New Pept Pro Stack List, all of our digital books have several stacks in them. If you really, really want the most comprehensive book that has the most powerful stacks, because we actually wrote it for business people, it's 
by the nootropic stacks for the business professional. That one just has all kind of crazy stacks in it. Um, but yeah, I would say that this is a super simple, super awesome stack that's largely sustainable to take so long as you've got proper cycling in there. And I figured I'd share that for people because I mean like these days, one of the things I'm into a lot and I think uh, people that are five years and above and taking nootropics are into is like how can I achieve pretty significant brain performance above my baseline uh, as long as my baseline is pretty cool with minimal compounds, right? Almost like nootropics minimalism. The whole concept is very cool and it actually does play out in work in real life. It's not just like a, an attractive theory. And so this is one of those stacks, okay? So if, you, if you've been thinking about trying solbutamine, I hope you get some good information from this. The person that emailed us, thanks so much for the question. Definitely you can take the stack relatively sustainably. It's a good stack. And hey, look, I mean, if this works for you, stick with it. That's the thing. Not every racetam is gonna work for everybody. Not, you know, for sometimes people take modafinil and they don't feel productive or feel anything different. They just can't go to sleep at night. So it all really depends on your brain and the stack might be pretty cool. Might be just what the doctor ordered for a lot of folks. Okay, so thanks so much for watching. Remember the Cortex stack right now, 25 bucks if you use the coupon code seven, just the number seven at livecortex.com, get it there. Uh, if you need my help personally on any of this stuff, buy the consulting service, get that at livecortex.com. And if you're new to nootropics, you gotta buy Smarter, Better, Faster. It teaches you everything. But also on livecortex.com, we have four other nootropics books on aniracetam, on all the rest of the racetams. We got a, a that book I mentioned earlier, the nootropic stack for the business professional, just gives you many, many powerful stacks. We got one specialty on Nupept. They're all awesome. Get them at livecortex.com. And thanks so much for watching.